Well, uh, what's going on YouTube? Hilliard Armory back with another video. It's been a while. Uh, apologize for that. I've just been working on some things. I've got some other guns in the works that uh, I'll be making videos on here very soon whenever all the kinks get worked out. But I ended up picking this up last night and I figured I'd do a video on it since that's what I do. <laughs> this is a Geisley Super Duty 14 and a half inch offering um, from the trigger manufacturer. They make their own rifles. I guess they just started this within the past couple of years. Uh, I just wanted to show it to you guys and talk about it. Uh, a couple of things. Um, everything that's done to the rifle, aside from like the stock and now the handguard that I've, or, or I should say the pistol grip that I replaced, uh, they do they do everything themselves. So this is a DDC coating on the rifle. It's a, uh, sorry about the background noise. It has a couple different shades of FEE and Coyote going on. Um, it has a pin and welded 14, or I'm sorry, pin and welded muzzle device to make the barrel 14 and a half inches. This is a Surefire War Comp. I'll say this is probably the only other part of the rifle that they don't actually do themselves. Um, it has a nano coating, however, that they've created. Uh, if you're into the nano coating and you're curious about it, you can look it up. I don't really have all of the information on it. I just know that it's very durable and it's naturally lubricated. It, at least that's how it feels. As well as their own DDC coating that they do on this rifle. Um, all of their coatings they do uh, are like naturally uh, lubed, I guess. They, they have like a slick feel to them and they're, they seem to be very durable. I've only had the rifle for a day so I can't say for sure, but my sling's been whacking me this side of the rifle all day and there is not near damn mark on it so um they make their own bolt carrier group this is the uh i think it's it's called the rebcg Re reliability enhanced bolt carrier group they do a few things to it to prolong the life um if you're into it you know like i said you can you can do a little bit more research i don't have everything on hand with me i'm out at the range now so I'll just give you this brief overview. Um, their uppers and lowers are machine titanium uh, 775, or I'm sorry, not titanium, uh, machined aluminum, 7075 machined aluminum. <coughs> uh, they make their own handguard. Uh, apparently this handguard's uh, world renowned in the special forces. I'm not super sure myself. That's just what they claim on their website. Uh, I will say it's very, very nice. The rifle is of extreme high quality to me. I picked it up last night uh, at a shop called Advanced Arms in Pittston, Pennsylvania. It was $2140 for the rifle. The whole setup you see here is around uh, $2800 out the door. I've got a Vortex, this is just temporary, uh, but this is a Vortex Strike Eagle 1-6. to This is pretty much what they had um, as an offering, so this is what I ended up with. It was either this or some like crazy Trijicon that I never heard of for uh, an astronomical price. Um, I'll end up getting something a lot nicer for this later on down the road, but like I said, for now, this works out. I've got a BCM, uh, what do they call this? I think an EKG or something, uh, four end on it. Um, what else? Uh, I've got this Vickers Blue Force Sling. I got an Air Precision Ultralight Mount, which is great. This thing weighs literally nothing. Uh, it's incredible. I threw a Radian Raptor SD on it right away because I have a suppressor coming and I put, I change out the hand grip. I put a straight angle MOE K2 Plus on it because I like the way it feels. Uh, another thing about this rifle, because this is a uh, top end uh, trigger manufacturer, they put their own Geisley SSAE um, X trigger in it with the uh, lightning bow shoe, which I've got a few people asking me about the lightning bow. I'll say that it is fantastic. This trigger is, it's the best AR trigger I've ever fired. And I've fired a handful um, that I couldn't tell you the names of off the top of my head, but I will say I have a CMC in one of my AR pistols and that's a three and a half pan, uh, pound drop in and this thing blows it out of the water. This trigger is incredible. Um, probably one of the biggest selling points to me about the rifle besides the fact that um it's beautiful and it is a joy to shoot it absolutely shoots amazingly and uh less less talky and we'll do a little more shooty shooty real quick i'll show you guys how it runs i'm like literally 10 yards away from my target i just zeroed this optic so 
I'm about to get out of here. The snowstorm's rolling in in like, it'll be here in like an hour and a half. I still have to go get my car worked on and shit. So um, yeah, I want to get out of here before the snow starts. So let's run this thing real quick. My hands are literally numb. I can't get this mag to seed. Oh man, it's so cold. <laughs> Sorry. I'll say for this for the money with this rifle I'm I'm pretty happy with it uh, I've got a lot more things to do with it before I can you know realistically judge if it's worth exactly what I paid but um, I'll say all the quality on every part that I've had my hands on I haven't really taken apart I did pull the bolt carrier group out last night to put my Radiant Raptor SD in but uh, every part that I've that I've touched by hand is it just seems like there's a lot of quality. Even the spring when I changed out the um, when I changed out the pistol grip, uh, I took the guys' pistol grip out. The spring that comes with this rifle that holds your uh, fire selector into into place, that spring versus the one that I had in my PSA lower uh, that came, I think it came with the PSA lower. It's so much beefier and just feels so much more solid. It's I don't know. I feel like there isn't a part on this rifle that uh, lacks quality. So that being said, uh, just a quick video real quick. Um, I'll make more on it. I plan on doing something about this uh, Strike Eagle. I'll show you guys, maybe do a review on it. So far, so good. Um, I can tell when I have the sun though, this radical is probably not gonna be the brightest, but we'll see. Um, yeah, that'll do it for now, guys. Uh, if you guys have any questions about anything that I've got here, the Blue Force gear, Vickers Tactical Sling, anything like that, feel free to shoot me a shoot me a question in the comments, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.